on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Anywho, after s some convincing, the only ones, well, who aren't actually a, a part of the whole let's spy on Midnight and Izuku group, at least when it comes to the girls, are Araka and Frobby. They're the only ones who are like, let's not do this. While when it comes to the boys, the only ones who will actually be joining are Kaminari and Sero, just so they have some shit to talk about, since Mineta is blacklisted. <laughs> The only thing is, because of their surveillance, that's where they really uh, had to depend on Jiro and Hagakure. The only thing is, due to Midnight's experience being a hero, she knows when she's being followed and tailed, so she realizes, okay, so that's, that's how it's going to be. So she and Izuku don't arrive home until late, late when, like when they're sure that everyone's gone. Other than that, they're training like hell, trying to keep up the facade. Much to Izuku's tiredness and pretty much like, damn it. <laughs> One hand, I'm getting better using my quirk. On the other hand, this is torture for me. It's near the second to last day for the whole sports festival when it's pretty much like okay uh, I think they finally gave up which no they haven't in fact as soon as she does realize they're still watching like sorry but I don't want to kick your ass again <laughs> can't you show mercy I can't I'm your teacher but this is when Inko shows up and starts tearing into midnight. Jiro being able to use her headphone jack, at least to a certain extent, starts relaying everything she's saying. How Inko will not allow this to happen. I don't care what agreement the family is have made, I wasn't a part of it, Izuku trying to calm her down, trying to explain, like, mom, mom, you, 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 you don't know what you're saying, we're being followed, like, wait, what? Is, this is pretty much when everyone scatters. Kishiro told everyone, word for word, what they were saying. So now they're even more suspicious, like, okay, what well, about this whole family's thing? Mina and Gakure are the only ones left who decided to come back after the deserters left. Yeah. <laughs> so you can just imagine, thanks to Gakure's visibility, she just has to make sure she doesn't bump into no one. Midnight cannot see Higakure. Despite how good she is, she uh, she'll just be considered a little paranoid, considering all the training they had to do. So Mina actually does hang back, being less suspicious. Higakure being the spy, or little fly on the wall. This is actually working, because as soon as Midnight is, okay, okay, they're gone. Oh, how wrong you are. Because after kicking Izuku's ass and having Inko go home finally, she's walking Izuku back to their apartment. In which she does feel like someone's watching. They're like, oh, it's probably me just being paranoid or it's just Inko watching us. Her taking Izuku inside. 
But what makes it worse, not only did her guy Grace see, but she had a camera. Mina hearing about what's going on at first, of course, doesn't believe it. Until they stay out there all night up till early morning and see them leaving together. I got great exhausted. Mina shocked and exhausted. Force worse is they have proof. But then here's here comes the dilemma. Should we confront them? Or should we just keep this to ourselves? Should we tell people Oh, what could happen if we do? We don't know what their relationship really is. Maybe they're family or something. Or, or maybe, uh, hmm, yes, yeah, there are so many possibilities here. Agakure saying, you know what? I'll take the camera and protect it. Just in case. What? Just in case what? As yes, Higari pushes Mina right in front of them. Uh, Higari, you traitor! Get back here with that camera! Camp. <gasps> Izuku realizing what that means, like, oh god, he took pictures of us. Midnight is pissed. But you know what they say, don't get mad, get sadistic. And yeah, she is feeling especially sadistic now. Her pretty much hog time Mina, oh, she tells Izuku to run like the wind and catch the visa bitch. Her words, not mine. Izuku knows that Hagakure is invisibility will be an issue so he has to actually keep a lookout for her clothes and or the camera because she isn't just going to leave it unless she knows she's lost him so what can he really do besides oh wait as then he finds Hagakure's clothes and Gagare being just behind him. <laughs> I know exactly what to do. As he takes out some paint. Gagare having no choice but going on instinct to stop him tackles him. Izuku grabbing her in her screaming as Izuku says stop. Oh wait. Him, I know that soft feeling anywhere. Him realizing what he's grabbing as he just backs up. I got Ray unnoticeably covering herself. But also, like, you pervert. Isuku being hella apologetic, but then you remember, wait, wait a minute. Him snatching the camera and destroying it. But then you're like, wait a minute. He starts looking. He starts looking at the film or sim card or whatever can have it, and it's gone. The Gakure has hidden it somewhere. And Izuku is not an idiot. He is not risking that shit. So he takes her back to Midnight, who is still with Mina, and starts... What? I can't find the cinema card. She 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 has has it somewhere. I don't know where. You didn't search. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want me to. She's invisible. Those are only a few places I can actually look. Uh, oh, smart, very smart. Yes, I'll 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 deal with this myself. Hmm. Oh oh yes. I. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. In the beginning. Unless you wish to disclose the information of where it is. And I can make this as painless as possible. 
her looking at me and me is like, okay, okay, don't you dare. <laughs> Rina has it. Uh, what? Is it goes, seriously? Yes. I figured if anything would have happened, it would be just to have the evidence with someone who's already been captured and possibly interrogated. But we, just in case I have the camera and you will most likely be the one chasing me. Please don't hurt me. We were just curious. <sighs> okay. <sighs> so you guys really waited this long, all night, and until the early morning, just to catch us. Yes. Which the evidence has been destroyed, and if they did say anything, chances are no one will believe them, except for hmm, Manetta, Kaminari, and Sero. Araka would possibly just keep denying it regardless. <laughs> so, what's going on with you two? Them pretty much having no choice what to say. Okay, fine, we're... There was this thing when it comes to my family. And his family, at least on his dad's side. You see, we were the first born children of such and such where it had to be patrolled over a whole deal bathed in honor and yada 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 that stuff. Really? Yeah, the only thing is uh, until us, every time they actually tried to do it it was either you know too late we already found the person already found someone or both were either boys or girls and you know couldn't they still got married well it was really to ensure the survival of both families and whatnot that it was a long time ago <laughs> or rock is gonna hate this Hmm? What do you mean? You can't be that dense. Midnight looking, is I... Really? You, you didn't notice that she likes you? She does? No way you're that dense. Uh, you are that dense, you didn't know. No. No, not at all. <sighs> Seriously, you're a sweet guy, but you are such an idiot at times. <sighs> Is that like so? How far have you gotten? Hmm? Hey, what are you talking about? Like, have you seen each other? Like, uh, no. I mean, for one, he's still technically underage, so doing something would be looked down upon, yes. I mean, I could, but uh, plus with the fact that his mom is right next door, it would... As soon as she hears clapping, she's gonna get just strapping. Uh, uh, I don't think my mom has any... Trust me, kid... A mom will do whatever it takes to protect her baby. <sighs> At least the good ones would. Terrible ones were just like, here you can have them, but uh, your mother really cares about you. I'm sure she ha she got God knows how many firearms or ways to keep me from uh, jumping in the, the sack with you. There's no doubt in my mind. Oh. Huh. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But still. Hmm. Yeah. But if anything. Things happen. And now you know. So. What are you going to do with this information? 
part of us wants to tell them just so we're not seen as just overly paranoid and whatnot. But other part is just like, hmm. You know, at midnight, why not we tell everyone else? At least then, it's all in the open and nothing's really. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. P positive. There's, there's no need to, to worry about it, right? What about the heroes? Ugh. If we get the students know heroes should know as well. Are you sure about this? Yeah. The why you look so stiff? Wait, what? Oh god, not again. Like Uh As he looks at Mina Hagakure like What do you mean again? Oh, you said so, you're so innocent. It is adorable. What does he mean by again? Oh, uh, n nothing to worry. About. Nothing for you, uh, you two to worry about, of course. Chances are they went farther than what we could have been suggesting. And then, when it comes to the whole everyone getting told about it, yeah, you can say obviously that uh, Oraka is hella upset. Froppy and the other girls are pretty much just comforting her. Mina, Gagari are saying, We are so sorry. <laughs> saying, You should have just mind your own business. Are you serious? You should just, why could you just catch your nose out of other people's business? Why could you just left it alone? We're sorry. We're curious. Well, your curiosity killed me. Is Suku being how he is? I this isn't or. Did you know about this before or after you saved me? Or were you planning on... No, no, no. I, I did not know about this patrol or ranged thing until after. Why you saved me? Were you trying to... Like, no, no, no. I just saved you because I wanted to be a hero. That's the only reason I had for wanting to save you. Because you were in trouble when I wanted... To, is, yeah, this is about the time when Oraka is saying, fuck it. Wait, what? As she leaps in to Izuku and kisses him. In front of everybody. Including Midnight. Her getting filled with jealousy. As, yes, this is a... This is a kiss kiss. This ain't no kiss on the cheek, no kiss on the hand, nothing. No forehead shit like that. No, this is a, a kiss kiss. So the sheer amount of rage that Midnight feels is pure and utter jealousy. Because as far as kissing goes for her and Izuku, have they before? Or was it really just her teasing him, if nothing else? So yes, she pries Oraka off of Izuku. Him just... I can't believe you did that. Her looking at Midnight, it was worth it. Midnight, she feels challenged. <laughs> like you dare do that in front of me. Yes. I don't regret anything. I'd do it again. Oh, I dare you. As Uraga just about to lunge at Izuku again. Everyone is just like, Mineta, come right here, Sarah. Like, Izuku. Yeah. 
you will pay for your crimes. <laughs> crimes? What crimes? You're stealing the women away. You, you, you have to save some of, some of them for us. What are you talking about? I didn't even know about, about Oraka. Fucking me. Oh, yes. You said that. You, and we can believe you being dense, especially after learning that uh, you already have someone. Midnight of all people. Yes. Which makes your sins that much more unforgivable. As Manila starts going to detail between sizes, you know, the bust, waist, and you know, <laughs> Izuku being embarrassed but also looking he's like, well, damn, he's right. Well, you could just say Midoriya gets torn two new assholes by one Oraga and Midnight. His bloody and beaten body pretty much thrown to the wolves, i.e. the girls. Especially Jiro, because she is still salty about it. Oh yeah, he didn't talk about her at all. He just pretty much forgot about her. And on to the teachers. Midnight upon hearing this, he's, he feels as though Attaboy. Also, like, I'm also a little jealous. Which, uh, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. As I was like, I don't care. 13 is like, good for you, Midnight. And so on and so forth. But Nezu is like, just remember, here, you're a teacher and a student. What if you do with the, the privacy of your own home, leave it there. I would not like for our students and staff to be subjected to your affections during school hours. That is my only condition. Uh, is there something wrong, young Midoriya? Uh, no, it's just that we haven't done... Uh, when I just... She's a little blushing, but... The, yeah, we haven't done anything, really. All my looking back at Izuku. Then point your finger at midnight. Like, really? N no, we haven't. Really? You didn't take a chance. You didn't take your chance to, you know. No, no, no. Besides, my mom lives next door. and Oh, yeah. Because oh, she's strapped to the nines now. Why does anyone say that? She, she would never. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Either way, I got it. Let's load up everyone so we can go to the sports festival. Of all the times to tell us of this, you choose now. Uh, well, we weren't planning on telling you at all. One. Midnight. Why would you keep this a secret? You know what, Alma? You're, you're a good hero, but you're an idiot person. When it comes to the sports festival, Izuku does a lot better considering he already has full cowling, so people do see his quirk at work before the whole, you know, fighting and whatnot, battles. Only thing is, he does still think more of an analytical standpoint compared to how he was in canon. One thing is, one for all is a lot more useful. He still gets first played by using his mind. The only thing is he can put a lot more force in to what he had before. And when it comes to the whole Kefri battle, him realizing that as long as he doesn't use too high a percentage at once, yeah. As long as he doesn't use it for too long either, 
He powers up to 20% at the last possible moment to cause shockwaves. And pretty much, that's all she wrote. When it comes to the battles themselves, him actually being able to use air pressure, he knows that, yeah, don't talk to him. As he just air blasts Shinzo out of the way. Gone. Shinzo doesn't really get his debut. But Izuku does let him know that. Yes I have a strong quirk. But it took a lot of hard work. To get to the wo Where I am now. Midnight is silently cheering him on. Trying not to. Expose too much. When it comes to Inko, she's happy to see how far her son's gotten. The only thing is, she's like, I'm waiting for you to screw up some way, somehow. My, my son, I trust his judgment, but I don't trust yours. I know your reputation. God knows how, what you carry in. Is now because of the Toroki battle, Tanro Juju still works. The only thing is, Izuku being a lot more quick on street as well as on the guard going up against Midnight, he's a lot faster. He's a lot more quick to think of strategies, especially considering he gave his opponent another advantage. Though he does still break a few of his fingers, some of them are still worse. Using. Then I could leave bloodied up and purple like they would be before. So Izuku does end up going more all out per se. To stand up. Yeah, it's a lot bigger a force than it was in a cannon fight. Lean more to Izuku's favor in which, yes, Izuku wins this time. Izuku versus Ida is a bit different, just considering as Izuku this time. He tries to outpace Ida, which, with better control, he kind of can. Especially with the whole reciprocal burst being no knowledge to him now. He actually challenges Ida to a race. Yeah, accepting this, though, seemingly like. Something doesn't feel right. Because he uses his reciprocal burst last minute. And Izuku kicks him. At least. Pulls his foot out. And he goes flying out of the stage arena. Him embarrassed that like he fell for this. But also. Like, well played. I can't really be mad at your strategy. When it comes to the Bakugo fight, he's mad. At not just because Izuku has a powerful quirk. Not just because he's so good at using it as well as found out a way to make it so he doesn't break anything as easily. He's already got someone training him who is already a pro hero. And with the fact that he's going to get married. To one of the hottest. Of the female ve the, uh, pro heroes. You. So. Bakugo's anger is actually bubbling up. A lot, a lot more. Than it would be in canon. When it comes to him. Which is Todoroki. And Todoroki. Actually holding back. So he's a lot more ferocious in this fight when he was then. Midnight is worried. She sees how furious Baku is. She's seen how serious he can make a fight. So she's about to stop it until Izuku just sits down with his legs crossed. Baku thinking that this is a sign of giving up, but he doesn't give a damn at all. Him using his house of impact 
And as soon as he makes impact, Izuku's already gone. In which you can see the kind of 100% Izuku versus Overhaul fight near the end. But no airy and is definitely not a full 100% or Bongo is paced. The Bongo is flying off the stage and Izuku is declared the winner. And one uh, way, what just happened? Izuku explaining how, yes, he can create an after image, or at least be fast enough so Bongo's attack didn't land, but he can completely demolish him in one shot. Because he knew that if he did seem like he was going to give up, Bakugo would have been even more pissed. Especially after seeing how strong he is. But it's the fact that Izuku's power was too much for his body. Bago's mind, he's like, how strong is his quirk really? How strong can he really get if his body was more attuned? Or at least ready for it. That's what really pisses him off. And seeing that he's looking like he's uh, giving up. Not a good look. That's something that you want a Pomeranian that can blow people up with anger issues as your opponent. Yeah, now he wanted to stay calm. So, yes, All Might does award the medals. And he looks at Izuku with a little bit more like, good job. Which even gets more on Bako's nerves, of course. Midnight. She uh, fails to show how happy she is for Izuku. How so? She runs up to him and hugs him. Honest to God, hugs him. In front of everybody. Inko. Lowering up her shark gun and braids it right out. While everyone else is pretty much like, you lucky bastard. From a guy's standpoint. Uh, gir girls and women are pretty much like, oh, that's so sweet. It's when the guys really want to kill Izuku when he wraps his arms around her. And Inko's heart is breaking. She must have done something. I don't know what, but she done something to corrupt my son. I just don't know what it is. And that's pretty much it. That is how the sports festival ends. You are very much welcome. As for the internships, since Izuku already has full cowling, though yes, Grant Yoke can still teach him his fighting style, he doesn't really berate All Might because of his teaching methods. All Might kind of wants to take credit considering he's like, yeah, yeah. But he knows at midnight, you know. Izuku wants to just relax and do some more training with midnight. Even she's not really doing much when it comes to her agency. If anything, Ingo, she's happy for him winning, but it's mainly the fact that he's not taking an internship that worries her. And with Midnight not participating in hero work lately, she's starting to assume the worst. Much to her dismay, she starts hearing a bunch of interesting noises coming from in the living room. Well, there's a lot of creaking from the couch. Her thinking is like, wait, 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 what's that? What's that noise? As yes, midnight just like, I would never have thought you'd be so good at this, as stiff as you are. 
Never thought you could be so flexible, says Izuku. She is armed to the teeth as she starts to grab a battering ram and destroys the door, realizing, like, what? Oh, wait, what, what's going on? As they were just playing a, uh, let's just say, a dancing game. And then go interrupted it. Mom, what's that? Is it seeing how strapped she is? What were those, what are those for? Oh, you thought I was going to do a what are those joke, weren't you? Well, congratulations, you got it anyway. I, I thought, uh, oh, I get it. You thought we were. <clears throat> no, 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 of course not. I mean, I trust you. No, you don't. You thought we were bumping ugly. You thought we were, I was riding the carousel. You you thought I was taking your son's B card. No, I shall not do that. Not until he and I both are mentally and physically ready for it. What? Oh, yeah, seriously. Heck, out. It's because if I want it, if he, if he doesn't want it, I, hey, what do you think I'm gonna do? Just take it? That's, that's illegal. It, yeah, yeah, it is. Wait, did you think I was one of those women who's like, when, that who believe guys can't say no? That's a bunch of bull. Hell, that's why that's why some men don't come forward because people will laugh and mock them about it. Or you say, "Oh, come on, it wasn't really that bad." Seriously, that's bullshit. Oh right, I'm a hero, for one. But even if I wasn't, hell, I'm even not that. Much of a degenerate. I don't care what kind of reputation I have. There's no way in hell I would force myself onto somebody. That is, that is just terrible to think about. And goes. Huh. I, I'm sorry. I, uh, I just thought. Well, maybe instead of jumping to conclusions, you could try talking to me, getting to know me as a person, and not just because of what whispers and rumors you hear about my hero career. Isn't it better to talk to the actual person who the rumors are about, rather than just going off a he said, she said? Okay, uh, tell you what, <clears throat> as a, a sign that I fully trust you, what, you'll get rid of the weapons? Yes, well, no, I'll technically still have them, but I won't threaten you with them. <laughs> okay. Is that it? No, no, no. <sighs> you and my son don't have to live here anymore. Huh? Wait, wait are you planning on getting us caped out? No, 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 nothing like that. You said you already had your own house, right? Yeah. You can, Izuku can stay with you in your house. What? He can live with you in your own residence so you don't have to live right next door to me. Izuku had a midnight's reaction to hearing that is like, Really? Yes. 
I, I'm <sighs> I'm fine with that. Really? Yes. As midnight with a smile on her face is like, all right, I'm getting packed right down now. Are you sure about this? Hurry up before I change my mind. 